Well, that one says live. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think the right one's on. Great. Okay. We're all on. Okay. The most important thing is, uh, at least for me, because the paying members are on Let's Go Help too. And I just put up uh, 15 new programs, Let's Go Help too, uh, that I found that I want to share with everybody. And, but more importantly, that we have our own, we have another deadline tomorrow. Tomorrow is our deadline for the uh, grants that we give for rent or mortgage or Yasmi, how are ya? <laughs> Yasmin, Yasmin, uh, Sherry, hi. Uh, that th these uh, $20,000 worth of grants tomorrow on the 20th of every month, we give this. Next month, we're going to give less because we had a financial hit in the face, a kick in the gut from the Stripe people, those wonderful mega uh, IT companies that run people's lives like ours. <laughs> and so we're recovering from that. And so uh, we can't give as much ca cash out uh, next month. But this is the last month we're giving out $20,000 for rent. Next month, we're only going to give out 5,000. And the same with the car grants. We're only going to give out 5,000 for car grants. Uh, we just closed that one on the 15th. So the next 15th, that'll be 5,000. But on the fourth next month, that's May, is it, are we in April now? Yeah. Uh, on May 4th, we're going to give out $40,000. And on the 25 uh, free laptops, we're going to give them out too on the 30th. Uh, so that's still right. We're just cutting back a little to make sure that uh, we don't overpromise uh, because, you know, Things happen, things that happen in life that you have no control over. Other people you know, will control your life because they have the power to do that. And the best way to do it is be a powerful asshole yourself <laughs> or learn to be resilient. And then no matter what happens, you're going to survive yeah, <laughs> and find a way around it. And that's what I think life is really around because life is going to happen. Shitty things are going to happen to you no matter what happens. Yeah. You know? No matter how good everybody else says the life is or the economy is or, or this is the best years of my life. Well, shit, that doesn't mean it's for you. And, and so bad shit's going to happen to all of us, no matter who we are, how old we are, how young we are, how rich we are, whatever. So the way to, to be red, Amber, how are you? Uh, the way to, to protect yourself from that is being resilient. You have no control over uh, determining what the outside world is going to be. You have some control, but you can't control the outside around you. So how you act to people around you and you show how you expect other people to act through your, uh, uh, through, through your, you know, actions every day. And that's how to control that because actually you're showing, Hey, people can be nice to each other. Uh, and even if you run into assholes, you know, you still can be, uh, 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 great and, and help each other and uh, be kind, uh, no matter how, how bad things are. I mean, that's hard to do. I understand because your instinct, we all uh, animal instinct, you know, that we want to rep uh, repel in a, a mean way when somebody's mean. It's walking away. It's what it's about. Life's, life's a big life. Uh, and that one person is not going to ruin your life unless you let it ruin your life. <laughs> And so you walk away and get your mind on something else and do something that is c constructive for you or help other people. And that's why I think helping other people is so important in life. Um, and particularly after you settle your own life, you know, you have to settle your own life first, I feel, before you can help other people. Um, and, and that's important. And there's ways to do that. And it, and it takes, you know, and, and, and things are going to happen badly as you try to do that, too. So how do you build up res resilience? And that's what I think that Let's Go Help is really trying to do. I'm so surprised it's doing this. It's, I, I didn't have this design when I started, but I see it, it, it's doing a lot of that through members. Members are helping members like I cannot, not, that, like, the ways I could never have done. And, and they're going live and, and helping to be available live to other members uh, because they, had, they were fortunate to get a grant or whatever. So they're sharing that experience with you live. And, and that is, to me, the best thing that I could have ever helped for. I didn't think about that. Well, when I did this, I just thought, oh, we got experts like me. What do I shit? I've been dealing with this stuff for 50 years. And, and, and but people can't relate to me on how, how I, I do that. You could relate to someone who just found out about these things and started applying and was, and was fortunate to get it. They're the people I want you to see. They're the people I want you to hear about. 
uh, so that you realize it's there for the average person, not for some fucking clowns like me. You know, um, <laughs> uh, I need grants in Texas, Lawson. Well, that's what we're here for. And uh, to do that right now, you go to put 500, the number 500 in the search and let's go help too. And you'll see what we have there for uh, every, every state we have uh, 500 grants for your state. That's where to start. I don't know what you need grants for in Texas, but that's where to start. And then also go to uh, the first report on that list of 500 uh, grants for every state. And you can download all the states. Please download all the states. Please help other people uh, that need this uh, money as much as you do. Uh, please do that because that's the only way we're going to get you know, better surround. Well, that's the only way I think we, it, it's selfish helping other people, I think, because you feel so good about it. I need grants for real estate investing. Well, I'm going to tell you, talk about one of those today, uh, but it's also in, in the meta, let's go meta grant report, the whole thing on real estate in there uh, for buying a home, fixing up homes and being a real estate investor. And one thing asked me is, is do not Join something on YouTube that promises you millions of being a real estate investor. You know, uh, Trump got sued $25 million for having one of those things that charged people thousands, even up to $30,000. And that just stupid that not stupid it, it, it's mean <laughs> nobody has to pay thirty thousand dollars to do that so and the federal trade commission made him big but he lost 25 million dollars he had to give back to people who bought that stuff and there's other people like that doing out there doing that you don't do that please uh if you need to be a real estate investor you go to <clears throat> Uh, you go to uh, and get mentoring to do that. Okay, we're in free mentoring. Don't pay somebody thirty thousand dollars to do that. You get it for free. Amber, thank you so much for putting that up there. Um, Amber, see, she's one of the people that knows this stuff so well, and she's available, you know, on live. Uh, <laughs> and you go to workshops in, in our. Uh, table of contest and you see when she's up next and talk to that lady, please. She's helped people all of her adult life and has very wonderful um, things she's doing for other people. And she's even volunteering here. She took it on time on a time uh, to, to help uh, to learn how to be a financial consultant. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and yeah. And see the government will train you to be a financial consultant for free through the, uh, the, the County Cooperative Extension Service. Yes, uh, you could become a free financial consultant. And then after you do some uh, some work for free, you could start using that expertise yourself and how to help people you want to start a business. That's another way to do it for free. You get trained by the government to do something for free. For real estate investor, okay, first thing you want to do is go to sba.gov slash local assistance. I give this out all the time because that's where you find local people that are consultants on starting a business. That's who you want to talk to. You don't want to talk to people giving out money because you don't know who they are and they're probably a scammer if you go in Google and look for that. And the people that really give out uh, real free money uh, uh, don't advertise in Google, so you'll never find them. And so that's why you go to these organizations, make an appointment uh, with two or three, not just one. You do two or three times because one person doesn't have all the answers. You want to get um, as many possibilities as possible. Life is all about possibilities and you want to try as many possibilities because they all don't work and they all won't work for you. They may have worked for somebody else, but they won't work for you. So you have to keep trying possibilities. Uh, uh, that's the right SBA link. Yes, you're right, Amber. Uh, and, and that's what you need to do because you don't know. That's another thing why you don't want to spend money trying to do things because most of them are going to be wrong for you. You know, even though they work for somebody else, they may not work for you. So if you start spending money on doing that, you'll be out of money before you find out what the hell really works for you. That's why we give you only free sources <laughs> to try, not places that go to my money. Oh, yeah, I spent $1,000 over here, spent $3,000 over there. You know, you have that much money? Fine. God bless you. Most people don't. The people that we're catering to uh, more than likely don't. <laughs> so that's right. Uh, we're trying to help those people. Um, uh, more than ever. 
what is wrong with, oh no, I guess. Uh, so th that's why every, one, every website we give you uh, for a source of help will never charge you money. Now, how do you like that? Now that's another and, and another thing I think for a website uh, for if you want Yasmin if you want to be a real estate investor you you go to meetup.com m e e t u p dot com okay and what you do there is is you join the meetup groups these are free groups of people like you that want to invest in real estate that's who you learn from other people doing exactly what you do and you learn from them how to do that you know uh, so you can do it too. Don't go to Google and spend thousands of dollars on somebody's going to promise you to be a, a real estate millionaire. No, no, no. Uh, and, and learn from people actually doing it. And they're actually doing it in where you live because most of the real estate uh, opportunities are local. They're not just some national program that says, hey, you know, we're going to give all this money for people to be uh, <laughs> all business with that. Oh, is that, is that your training, Amber? Thank you so much. Now, Andrew, Amber, she devotes her life to helping people in need. I mean, this is wonderful how we attract wonderful humans like this, you know, uh, and everybody giving seminars like, like, uh, like Amber does are people like that, you know, a charity. The, she just learned how to do this and is so excited. She wants to tell everybody else how to do this. And even the people on our staff, I mean, you talk to, um, you will see uh, Sabrina and all the other people that, that really uh, pour their heart out in doing this. Uh, and, and that's Tammy, man. Her heart is all over her sleeves and her, most of her sleeves are red because they're bleeding so much. <laughs> yeah, there they are, Michelle, right? Charity, aren't tonight, see? Like tonight, okay, you have Michelle, Tammy, and Charity. Three of the most giving people you ever meet in your life. You know, and that's why I can't believe that this little business, I just want to start a little business uh, to pay my mortgage <laughs> rent or whatever the hell I got and, and have something I thought was important to do the rest of my life. And it's becoming a thing of its own, you know, and I don't know how that happens. I, I, it, it's all magic to me. I just follow my heart every day. I think this is the right thing to do. And sometimes it's right, <laughs> but you have to keep doing, you know. I mean, I, I feel... 50% uh, of the stuff I do is probably right, but I don't know which 50%. That's why you have to just plan for failure. Uh, oh, God, that's the person. <laughs> Maybe so, Sherry. <laughs> Whoever it is, <laughs> thank you for, for creating this. And, and I think it's, it, it's this spirit in each one of us you know, that we have. And, and I see that we're able to grow other people's spirit like this, like it grows my spirit. And that's why I'll do this till I die because it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. I've done the same kind of work for 40 years, but not like this, not like this, where, where it really is helping people one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, that's the nicest thing. Me selling a million books and being on Oprah does not compare to this. No way. It compared, that other stuff come my ego and show off to my friends or whatever but not to my heart. Like this grows my heart more than anything else I've ever done in life. And I've done more than I ever thought I would do. Yeah, uh, growing up as a, what I call myself now as a coal miner's grandson. <laughs> and to try to remember what the hell, where the hell I came from. Yeah, uh, and that's, I think, important. Uh, trying to, and most of, most of us living in our current society, we're all trying to be somebody else because we see, so oh, somebody else is doing this and they're being so successful, whatever the hell that means. Uh, and, and I'll do that, you know, and you won't do it as good as those idiots doing it now anyway. Uh, you have to find out what, uh, you know, what you're good at and share that with the rest of us, please, because that's your special, you know, superpower. We all have special superpowers, but it's not obvious. That's why uh, sometimes uh, we appreciate and thank you so much. Uh, uh, you've helped me greatly. I'm letting other people know. I remember you from Infomercial Day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> been a long, long time. See, all that, I mean, it was being on TV was the make it money was good, but now helping people is better than all of those. Uh, and, and that's what's important. Uh, and that's why, you know, now members want to uh, show how they can help people too. And well, we give them a stipends. I don't, you know, uh, and, and 
to show our appreciation. And actually, uh, we give uh, coupons to buy clothes at uh, lescoclothes.com. That's where you want to buy funky stuff like this. <laughs> All my stuff is on there for sale, too. Uh, and, and that's important. Uh, so it, it is, I, I just want to thank all, all of those who share their time with other members and help. And you don't have to be online to do that. You could just go into the membership and see people ask questions, give them hints, give them ideas, get, uh, give them a little encouragement uh, to keep the fight going. You need that going. Otherwise, we'll crash if we don't have support. And that's why we're here to support each other uh, to do what we have to do. Uh, I've gotten close order. I haven't gotten an order yet but still anticipating. Oh, uh, huh. and, oh, maybe I think I saw it somewhere in process. Yeah, give me a few days, Amber, then, then beat on me to make sure. Uh, how are you, my friend? Great, Joey. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. I will. <laughs> Your friend Joey from Contractors and Limited. Yeah, we go back a long time. Uh, I'm going to beat on you. Oh, oh, please beat on me, Amber. Uh, I'm, I'm human and I want to help you and I don't know how to help you as much as I can. If I'm busy, I'll put it off for a while. And then if you don't hear from me in a day or two, then just beat on me again. Please, please, please. I have nothing better to do in my life than, uh, than to help, help others. And uh, particularly if you're a member, particularly if you're giving to us, I certainly can help every person on the planet. Uh, and that's why... But the people that are 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 in our, our community, I I, I got to help them first, you know, I, and that's important because you're important, and I know we're all important. Uh, but <laughs> for us to stay in business and keep helping people, <laughs> I got to keep the community going. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, never beat on you. Uh, uh, we got love for you. Oh, thank you, wild girl. But. Sometimes I need a beating. <laughs> you didn't know me as a kid. I got thrown out of so many classes at school. It's amazing. <laughs> but it was never malicious, never hurting people or whatever. It's just entertaining myself. I was so goddamn bored. <laughs> I just act up. So like I do now. Yeah, now I get paid good money for it <laughs> before I just got thrown out of class. <laughs> See, if someone took me then and said, hey, you got a talent for this. You could do something. Like, you know, teach people some or whatever. You're entertaining or whatever that is. <laughs> See, they're entertaining. I didn't know I was. I was just entertaining myself. And that's what I even do now. If I'm not happy, if I, I, I don't believe in what I'm doing, I can't tell other people about it. That's why when I was doing Home Shopping Network, they wanted to, me to be one of those show hosts, you know, and sell, you know, underwear or, or toothpaste. All this. I said, I can't do that. If I don't believe in something, I can't sell it. I don't sell. I just try to educate. That's all I'm doing. I used to go on TV shows in the beginning. I had my book there when I was selling books. And I'd throw the book away. i say, you don't need this book. This is all free information. You can get it yourself. And to educate, to get them uh, out of their mind that I'm just here to sell you something. No, I'm here to educate you uh, about these wonderful opportunities that can really help people and improve their lives if they only knew about it oh please know about it uh and so i wasn't there for that but certainly a motive was to uh, i mean i this is how i ate and so it was there underneath all this but it, it, it more important is that it's a way to educate i used to be a college professor in um uh, computer science back in the 70s when computers were bigger than this room <laughs> and that was shocked that i could be a college professor <laughs> i've fl I was flunked out of college well, almost <laughs> i graduated with a 2.00003 or something like that uh, i got kicked out of schools flunked out of schools and it just school was not for me and we could all find our place in, in the world. And, and particularly in America, there's so many ways to do things. And if you're following the rules, well, maybe that's not for you. And there's rules that aren't for you that will work. And they're not rules. You make them up. What works for you will work. And, and you can't follow all the rules sometimes. Uh, you want to play by the rules, but 
then but you don't have to follow them if they if you're not hurting people you know and that's the important thing uh and, and i'm trying to get other people to know about at least solve the bleeding that's going on in this country for people without money i mean that have to live uh half the people in this country can't afford a 500 dollar expense if it came over there in their mail you know and that's what we have to do. Okay, let me tell you about some of the programs I have here. Can you share how to get government contracting or where to find the information is available? Yes, there's something called, uh, you could get it at, okay, you can make an appointment at your americas.sbdc.org, uh, okay? Um, Oh, let's see. I'm trying to find this other. There's, there's another. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, here's how to do it. Here's free. Here's more free help on getting government contracting. And if you go direct to this, because they, if they're a good SBDC, they will send you to this place. And these people help you soup to nuts to get government contracts, all free. They even have grant money to give you, to help you get government contracts. Now, it's amazing. The government will give you grants to help to get more grants from the government. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Uh, that's what it is. Yeah, I think grants are better. Uh, I mean, uh, contracts are better from the government than grants because that you could build up, you know, billion dollar business like people have. My, my sister used to uh, frame um, pictures and posters for the government in her garage and did a million dollar business on that, yeah. Uh, so that is available to anybody with or without money. Uh, and this is how the big fat cats use the hell out of this stuff. Every Fortune 500 is getting government grants, you know, uh, and that's why more rich people get government grants than poor. And that's why we always complain about giving out government grants or whatever. <laughs> nah, bullshit. You know, <laughs> it's not going to people who are poor. People who are poor need that. And it's the people that are not poor that are getting it that I think are, are, are causing <laughs> havoc with our budget. <laughs> Not the poor people. That's nothing compared to what the rich people get. Uh, it's great to see you today. Thank you for your staff. For all their work. Well, thank you. No, the staff's wonderful. I, I don't tell them what to do uh, because I want them to use their heart and to feel one-on-one -on -one with each member uh, that it's like a friend of theirs. They're trying to help and they know more shit than they than their friend does about where help is and i just want them to dig into themselves not have a cookie you know not like be comcast <laughs> operator that has a, a programmed answer to every question nah that's not human and, and that's why ai and all that kind of stuff i want you to deal with humans uh that have a heartfelt concern for for your problem and that's how I want to help them. So even if members have a heartfelt concern for your problem, uh, that will try to help you and give you the help and confidence you need to carry on uh, to try to solve your problem. And that's the important thing. The important thing is that you keep trying to solve your problem. And you don't know the exact answer yet. You get the exact answer by trying, by failing, by picking your ass up again and trying it again. That's the, that's the, there's no shortcut. There may be, and you may get lucky as hell. And they're the people I used to put in my infomercials. <laughs> so the, they're always out there. And as a case can be made that that's right, but it probably won't be for most of us. Yeah. And, and that's so important for people to realize that this may take work. And, and if you're not ready to put in the work, uh, and the Mr. Lesko said, go to APEC counselors and call APEC counselors uh, to help you process updating federal and government contracts. Uh, they can also help with what to do when signing uh, up with Sam, where to sign up. See, now look at that. You know, I mean, Amber is God's gift to the world. Uh, you have to realize that here she is, she's paying as a member to, to, to help you learn what she's learned. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, and that is a bigger motivator than anything. That's why even I think for me, you know, I theoretically have to 
get money from you to keep this business going. So my motive is always, you know, that's in there somewhere. But when we have members do this with no motive at all, except their heart, you know, and growing their heart as much as they can. And they, like me, realize that growing your heart is the best thing you could do in life uh, because that's the most rewarding. So much, how much, how many, dollar bills you have in the basement like scrooge mcduck isn't gonna s s make your heart feel good and that's the most the best part of being a human is having a heart and and satisfying that heart and we know that instinctively but we're not encouraged to do that you know have you seen a course in, in anywhere about well how to increase your heart <laughs> the older I get, I say, ah, oh, shit, I've been doing it wrong all this life. <laughs> and especially as you get older, maybe it, it, it becomes more face to face to me as an older person because it, it, I can't get better and faster at anything. I can't run faster. I can't pick up more weights I, you know, and increase that at all. But I can increase my heart. I can love people more. I can give more and things like that. And that is the most satisfying thing on the planet Earth or whatever the fuck we're in. <laughs> but remember, you're going to get hurt. And that's why as a human species, it, it, it's other people that help us the most, you know, and to know that we're not alone. And the loneliness factor in this country is off the charts. And actually, the Surgeon General of the United States, that's his main mission. Our biggest health problem is loneliness, uh, that we're all alone in the world. And we're feeling that. We don't have to feel that way because if we don't feel that way, then we, we, we get the, the, uh, the energy to solve problems for ourselves and other people. So if everybody here took one person and helped them with their problems, man, everything would be done, right? <laughs> There'd be nothing to do. We all close up the tent and <laughs> go to the South China Seas or whatever. Uh, my company is doing is going AI as of now. The data has taken over four months now. And put in a go. Oh, great! See, here's Joey uh, relearning his business and using AI. I think AI is per perfect, particularly for the. I find it for our stuff. You want to find grants? You don't go to Google. You go to AI because they'll tell you the grants that are real not the grants that some huckster like me or wants to get money to teach you about. Yeah, you know, that's a, what Google is, is a money-making machine. AI is not yet. Now, maybe it will be when more people use this. They'll figure out this is a way to make money, and that means getting money from you. Right now, you search AI, nobody on that, at least if you say, I want a grant uh, to pay my bills in Pennsylvania, uh, show me all the nonprofit organizations and government offices that give grants to help me pay my uh, bills. You're going to get the real thing, the same kind of thing. I know these programs. So when I do that, I say, yeah, that's all the stuff we give people. <laughs> so, you know, AI maybe will put us out of business. That's fine. There's a lot of problems to solve, <laughs> but you have to get the right information, you know, and that's what uh, we show you. Every pro every website we give you uh, will only give you information. Not uh, take, uh, not want to take money from you. Let me go through this list, the program. I put it on uh, the YouTube, and I put it on in the beginning of the uh, the grants on, on Let's Go Help too. And don't forget our uh, tomorrow night deadline for the uh, grants for rent, the rent grant. Okay, and if on Let's Go Help too on the left hand side, there's a application. It's very easy. You just put one sentence what you need the money for. And you're in the pot, you know, and it takes us about two weeks to process it and then start sending out money. Uh, we send out money every day. I write those checks. I love writing those checks. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me get you, tell you about the list I just put in. Okay. Number one is free. Government's giving free seminars on how to get money to start or expand a business. Yeah. See, this is what Maryland's doing. I'll show you. They're going like a traveling circus, you know, uh, going around giving free seminars for you to know all the programs in that state to start or expand a business. See, the government has these programs. They want you to know about it, but they know it's hard for you to get it. So they have to go out and do the, uh, 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 you know, the education to do this. And then that's the problem. They don't have money for that usually. So it's nice to see that uh, thing. Now, here's another thing I just found out that uh, a, a newspaper editor wrote a, a, a gratitude column. Now, this is grateful. Being grateful is a, 
and then I, I think a part of getting rid of loneliness, at least this is what the Surgeon General says, uh, to get rid of loneliness, you have to um, be grateful, <laughs> show how grateful you are, uh, help someone, or ask for and help or ask for help. So ask someone if they need help. Ask someone if they could help you, uh, or tell people how grateful you are. Now th this. Uh, uh, um, editorial writer in a newspaper said, he writes for a, a company called the News Gazette. He said, today is April 15th. So this is a couple of days ago. Uh, After I finish writing this letter, I'll be writing a check to the IRS to pay my federal taxes. Before I do it, I'm taking a moment to be grateful for what the government has done for me for over four years. As a small business owner and a valley, in a valley, vulnerable industry, I'm grateful for the Paycheck Protection Act that allowed me to keep every staff member fully employed through the pandemic. I'm grateful for the $35 a month cap on insulin for people on Medicare, like my sister, Leslie. So she saved hundreds and hundreds of dollars on her uh, insulin package because of a new law that Biden put in. On behalf of my friends and neighbors, I'm grateful for the American Rescue Act that helps so many here in Rock, Rock Ridge County with rent and mortgage assistance, expanded childcare credits and unemployment insurance. I'm grateful for the child poverty rate has been lowered and the recession has been held at bay. I'm grateful for federal funds that paid for repair of the Nelson Street Bridge over Woods Creek <laughs> that put a new roof on my Glasgow Community Center I'm grateful for new manufacturing jobs, new broadband expansion projects, and for funding to update the Murray Service Anthony's water treatment plant. See, this is government grants doing all this. Uh, there are a lot more things I could mention. For now, I'm just thinking of these accomplishments makes writing the tax check a lot easier. I mean, that's how I see it, but I'm in the business of doing it. Most people don't see that up, uh, at all. Look at what's going on in some other countries. Would you like to be a, uh, a refugee and uh, living in a tent in some desert or something? Man, you know, there's a lot, a lot of bad shit here too, you know, but we have to work on that. We all do, and it happens all the time, okay? Uh, okay, June 1st is the last day to apply for a $2,500 grant if you are a homeowner or renter. Now, this is interesting uh, because this is another tax break for renter or, or uh, a stimulus package for renters. A lot of people don't know. There's a lot of counties and cities that are giving rebates on uh, property tax rebates. But even if you're a renter, so if you own the property, yes, you'll get a property tax rebate. That's what uh, a lot of cities and counties are doing. And if you're a renter, they're giving it to the renters because you're actually paying the property tax, not the landlord. <laughs> the landlord is getting the money from you to pay the property tax. So they're giving it to the renters, not the, not the uh, landlords. They don't need the money, okay? So that's it. So you got to check your county property tax office, okay, to see what kind of programs are there for renters and mortgage owners, okay? Uh, here's $53 million grant to build a hotel in Chicago. See, cities give out money grants for you to build low-income housing for you to build commercial buildings all this kind of stuff that's where it is uh and, and there's a link there you want to see how that, that is done um there's a nonprofit organizations that help people here's you, know, you heard of bloomberg news you know those people well they have a nonprofit bloomberg because he's a gazillionaire whatever the hell he is and he's a nonprofit that helps entire communities to get higher paying jobs money to pay your bills and get rid of medical debt. Who pays your medical bills for you? And that kind of how do you know to answer where that is in your county? You don't. So that's why you have to start looking. And the way you look, you start with findhelp.org, put in you know rent or whatever, whatever, and whatever problem you have, financial problem, and see what nonprofits are in your area that solve that problem. And then start calling them. Call each of them. If you have 30 nonprofits that help people with rent, you call every one. Because if you call one or two, they'll say, we have none. There are none. No, and you can't take that. You have to, there's 30 there, then you have 28 more to call to see about rent. That's how you get things done. It's a numbers game. 
It's like getting a job. You don't go to one office and say, hey, you're giving out money today and they say no. And, and, or you're giving out jobs today and say no and you go, wait, no. You, then you go to the next person, okay? Uh, starting April 22nd, down there's a new program that started out in North, North Carolina. They're giving 30% uh, of your mortgage as a grant down payment, 30%. So you're buying a $300,000 house, that's like $90,000 of a grant to pay the house, and then $5,000 closing costs. So that's you know $1,500 closing costs. So that's huge grant money for people to help buy a house. So that's all local, you know, and, and it, it's not, you know, some national program you're waiting for. You have to learn how to get that local stuff. Okay, uh, 30,000 people died waiting for disability decisions in social security right here. there's a hundred uh, a million and a half people waiting for news about getting on disability you know from social security and thirty thousand of them died waiting to hear see that's bad okay uh so if you're on disability you have to start banging away you're waiting to be approved or disappear. You have to start calling your elected officials. Your lawyer can't help the same way. They can a little bit, not as much as your elected official. You have probably 12, 15 elected officials where you live uh, that have some power over uh, the Social Security Administration. This, the problem is that they don't have enough staff. They're not given enough money by Congress to take care of all these people in record time, okay? And so you have to beat on the elected officials because the elected officials are the one that, that give the Social Security Administration to process this in time. You can't yell at Social Security Administration. They're doing the best they can with the money that Congress has given them. They need more money to do this, okay? Uh, and, and that's what you want to do. So you go uh, uh, to, to, go to commoncause.org. Put in common cause, C A U S E, uh, dot org, put in your zip code and find the elected officials and start with your three top ones the two senators and congressmen. They all have people. You yell at them. Or be nice, actually. You don't yell at people who are going to work for you for free. You yell at people that you pay, <laughs> not people do it for free. You have to be nice as hell. Send them cookies, send them cakes, send them flowers or whatever to get them to work for you because they get the same paycheck whether they help you or not. Okay, here. Here's free online counselors. Massachusetts set up an uh, uh, organization uh, uh uh, that helps everybody with any kind of uh, health-related needs and insurance and all that kind of, it's free. And it shows you all the free government programs. See? Uh, and that's uh, particularly for medicine. I mean, it's a complicated system we set up here. Uh, so if you don't live in Massachusetts, here's where else to get free help, particularly people on Medicare and people who are helping, are, who are caregivers. So that's what it's for. So if you need help like that, you go to ship, S-H-I-P-H-E-L-P dot org. Ship, like in floating away or crashing into a bridge, <laughs> that, that kind of ship, uh, help dot org. And needymeds.org. Needy meds is not only for Medicare uh, or Medicaid, but every healthcare problem. How to find the grants and everything for any healthcare problem, needymeds.org. Make sure you're, you're, you're aware of that. Universities offer free grant writing to, to help businesses apply for a half a million dollar grants at the USDA. The USDA has a wonderful grants that energy related, uh, any kind of, you see the list I have here, a listing of 20 of them in one of the uh, counties, anywhere from $12,000 to a million dollars to get. Uh, a friend that is helping me with something else uh, who lives in uh, upstate Minnesota somewhere, his father is uh, an ag guy, and he just got a million and a half dollars uh, to to work on an invention that's creating water out of the ground. You know, <laughs> it's fun. I mean, it's all to make your property more uh, energy uh, uh, reliable. You know, and things like that. Uh, how to save energy, water, resources, anything like that. So you have an idea, they'll help you. Or you or you want to invest in your house to have that. Uh, uh, kind of thing. But see what this article will show you how uh, engineering people at the university will help you fill out the application for free. 
because this, you want to get a million bucks, you know, that, that's just not filling the blanks two or three pages, like most uh, personal grants are. You need help with that, and they give it for free. So there's always free help for something. Okay, here, the application closes uh, for, uh, it is a, a, a grant uh, for small businesses, again, in Minnesota, that closes on April 30th, and it's $50,000 for f small businesses in financial trouble. It closes on April 30th. 50,000 grants for small business and financial trouble. Okay, uh, the banks wants people to think they're great. Oh, here, I found this uh, uh, grant for small businesses. They're giving out $5,000, this big bank, uh, to grants to six small businesses. I looked at this, and you could look at it here. I have the link there. Uh, uh, it's a bank, so they're billionaires, okay? And they're giving out five thousand dollars to six people. Yeah, we give out seventy-five thousand dollars every month to hundreds of people every month. <laughs> I mean, this is like half our business we give out every month. Now, you want to brag about something? Come on, you beat that one. <laughs> that's a, see, that's why most of the grants you get from for-profit organizations they're just the publicity and it's free advertising. $5,000 as pocket change. Yeah. Okay, here's another deadline. Deadline, April 19th. Whoops, today, tomorrow, whatever. Today, yeah, 5,000 grants for small businesses in Boulder. So if you're in Boulder, see, so yeah, but I tell you that, even though you, you're probably not in Boulder and you probably gonna make, make it in time, even if you are in Boulder, because <laughs> you got something else to do today. But to tell you about the kinds of things that are locally, so you start checking locally what's available where you live, okay? One place to do that is look for all the economic development offices in your state. And that's at eda.gov. And you call every one of those. Man, they're the people that are trying to give money away uh, to people who want to start a business. Uh, and here's an interesting one in New York. New York is now giving uh, $5,666 grants to pay for tuition if you have income up to $80,000, okay? Maybe you don't wanna to go to college in, in, in New York, fine. Uh, but even if you don't, it's to show you that poor is not what you, and at least what I think is poor anymore. There's $80,000, they think you need financial help. You, know, you have no idea what's out there or what's available out there. And, and the only way you're gonna learn is by finding out, do the research necessary. And that's what we do at Let's Go Help. Um, we help you. You can ask us a hundred questions a day if you want. People like Amber and everybody will be there to help you. And you have, but you have to ask us questions. It's not going to jump off the internet and put a check in your pocket. You have to do some work too. So let us show you how to do that. Talk to you soon.